Okay, everyone, um, some context before. So Ghosty since day one had this feature called Quick Terminal, which is basically just a fancy name for a drop-down terminal. But here's the thing. Until now, it was only available on Mac OS. Not anymore. Kind of. First, let me show you how everything works. Now, on Ghosty configuration, we can set some options, and more specifically, we can set the position where we want the quick terminal to open. Like, it can be top, bottom, left, right, or even center. Hm? We can set it to auto-hide when it loses focus, super handy, right? And we can even set a key binding to summon it. Though, a uh, quick note, that should actually be a global shortcut, not just a regular one like I'm doing here. So let's test it out, shall we? Control, and A and boom, we get this little terminal popping up on top. Not the most exciting thing ever, but there's a reason for that. Reason? Wayland Protocols, baby. So, on KWIN, that terminal should come with a slick slide animation. I haven't tried it myself yet, but that's totally what's supposed to happen. And if you didn't notice already, that's basically the Cosmic Desktop at work, because, you know, in Gnome Shell, that just won't work at all. Nope, not a zilch. And even in Cosmic, it doesn't work quite as nicely as you'd hope. For example, when you go into overview mode, the quick terminal, which, by the way, uses the GTK layer shell, ends up appearing below the desktop components. Like, seriously? So wrong. Cosmic still has some z-index issues to solve. <laughs> in the meantime, do you remember like a month ago when I uploaded another GTK project that basically didn't work in GNOME either? All because Motor doesn't implement the Wayland layer shell. What a stupid joke, right? GNOME stuff not working in GNOME. <laughs> It gets even worse. First of all, that feature arrived in Maine just three days ago, and the girl who did that, she first tried GTK Layer Shell, and it worked. On her non-gnome desktop. Oh god, please don't be a KDE user, just don't. <laughs> it turns out, not only is she a kde -er, but she's also in the mood to make fun of Gnome. Like, a perhaps ironic downside to this is that Gnome users won't be able to use this, though the stubbornness of Gnome developers is scantly our fault. Um, you think? And it doesn't end here, because she's also implementing Quick Terminal Slide and Auto Hyden, and this time she's like, yet another protocol that KDE does and GNOME does not? Oh well, might as well let KDE users such as myself enjoy it out of the box. And you know what, guys? She's legit. And unfortunately, the downfall doesn't even stop here. So, apart from the Slide Manager, can you guess what else Ghosty can do in KDE but not in GNOME? Meanwhile, Wayland has become kinda pointless. Every desktop just adds protocols that no other desktop actually implements, and eventually everyone argues with everyone and things just don't get done. Like tick tiling, for example. Total mess, right? To come back to the original matter, just think about this for a moment. It's a project that, in just a couple of months, has almost 30k stars on GitHub. Probably counts millions of users already, and is literally the only terminal that makes sense for Gnomers. And what happens? Someone decides to add a core application functionality even though she knows it won't work in GNOME. And then the maintainer accepts the patches without pushing for an alternative that could work in both GNOME Shell and Plasma. I mean, there are discussions about it already, but what's done is done, my friend. So if you're asking me, I'd say it feels like people care about GTK more than GNOME Desktop itself. What you think? <laughs>